everyone. My name is Phil Fuchs. I am a senior product manager at Domo. And for today's Domo Drop, I'm going to talk about data modeling. Um, we know customers have been looking for quicker ways to gain insights and also for some ways to control the data that their end users are looking at. And data modeling is going to help us do that today. All right, let's jump right in here. So on our left sidebar, we have our semantic models button. If I click there, I have a create model button here at the top. To add data sets is pretty straightforward. You click on the add data sets button and I'll add in some example CRM data sets that I have. Once they come up, I can click plus on each one and they will be added. I'll add in my account table as well. Each one gets added in. Now I can build my my data model. So an account table is related to the order table in, in this example data model here. And I can control the cardinality as well. I know that one account may have many orders. And in order to have a product table, I actually need my order line items table available as well. So I'll bring that in here. And each order can have many line items. So I will create a relationship between those and make sure the cardinality is correct. And then finally, each order line item has a product associated with it, and you can get that information from the product table. So one product can, ha can be on many orders, so in this case, it's many order line items per product. Just like that, I've created a data model. I can navigate by using two fingers on a trackpad or clicking my mouse wheel in for drag or through the mini-map here as well. And once I'm ready, I can name my model, and I can save and close. So for this next portion, I have here a sample data model. It's a CRM and web analytics data model, so similar to a Salesforce with a Pendo or a Heap platform here. Um, I've already created this model, model. I've established the relationships between the tables, and now I am going to create a card in Analyzer based on this model. So. Um, I can open it from the model page and open it in Analyzer and you'll see that the data source is the data model. So as an example, let's assume that I want to understand how many orders each account has. So here on the left sidebar you can see that the fields are nested under the table that they originate from. So I have my account name coming from my account table and in the orders table I can bring in my order UID and I can count that. So now, for example, for each account, I have a count of orders that that account has made. And I can save and use this card just like any other card in Domo. All right, so something really cool about data models is that you can use the cards that you build with data models in App Studio and dashboards. So here I have a basic revenue metrics app powered from our CRM metrics dashboard. Um, you can see all the cards that are powered by the data model are interactive. So here I've got a count of user sessions by account and contact, so who is visiting our, our website. And if I, for example, want to look at Blue Sky Solutions, I can, I can hover over and it will highlight on the card to the left the revenue ranking and the, the total revenue by, for that product with the product dimension. So if I want to create a filter view, I can simply click and all the cards that have that data model as the underlying data set will filter. Um, it's exciting, we can also use slicer cards to do the same thing. So if I wanna see everything for Blue Sky Solutions, I can do that here, and then all of these cards that, that are powered by the data model are automatically filtered. That does create a filter view, um, and that's the last thing I wanna show here, which is that you can also add a filter view based on data model column. So if I wanted to, for example, filter for accounts in a certain state, I could, I could do that. So California, Colorado, and Florida here as an example, that can create a page filter view that filters for accounts in those states. So a lot of exciting functionality here uh, in App Studio. Thanks for watching. I'm really excited for data modeling and I think that it's laying the foundation for a lot of really cool features to come in the Domo platform. Um, starting today, you can jump in and try these features in beta for yourself. So try it out. Let us know what you think. And we're excited to, to see what you'll achieve and also to, to hear your feedback. Thank you. We'll see you on the next Domo Drop.